Good morning, you guys. It is still stormy. Still. Still rain. Um, so, we had appointments today. But, we have no car. And it's raining. Um, and I just hit that on accident. Oh, well. So, yeah. Uh, so we're stuck at home. Um, only one of these appointments was here in town. Um, yeah. It's gonna be like that again. Oh, so we gotta figure out what's going on with the car and then go from there. I don't know. Right now I'm tired and I don't feel so hot, so I don't necessarily care. Um, and then I have to figure out what can be done since I paid for a three day package and it took well over that. It was guaranteed delivery by Monday. It was delivered Wednesday finally. So I have to go in, get my money back, um, and hopefully it doesn't take forever for it to come back to me. Um, my cousin sent it out yesterday. No, sorry, my friend. <laughs> um, long joke. Long joke. Oh my god. Old joke. Old Amy. Crappy memory. <laughs> not memory, but just couldn't freaking... Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to win today. So yeah. So it looks like we will be sticking around here today. Um, not that there isn't like a table to clean off, dishes to be done, boxes to be broke down. I almost said boxes to be boxed. So, we'll see how today goes. So, I ordered some stuff. I ordered more glitter like I did before in the packaging. And uh, I saw that that was coming along with another envelope, which I'm assuming was the other glitter from another company that I ordered. Guess what did not show up? Guess what on my informed delivery said was going to be delivered yesterday. Um, it's awful strange that this is a recurrence that keeps happening. Um, so I have to go in because I still have a package that was missing that was due to be delivered last week. Um, it says it's here in town, but it's just kind of gone MIA. Do you, anyone else, do you, do you, does anyone else have those issues also? Is it just us? I swear it feels like it. And no, I know it isn't just us because um, not long ago there was a big uh, news report about um, a male person just throwing a bunch of mail on the side of the road. So, I know um, that this is not that uncommon, but does anyone else have the problems we've had? That just... Oh, hey, my finger worked. It's like three degrees out here. Can you tell? Anthony's all bundled up, too. It doesn't help I got a haircut, so half my fur's gone. <laughs> Ooh. So, we have to walk to the post office. My knee is already killing me. And I am so done. Because I can't feel my nose anymore. Those apartments are so tiny and there's like a treadmill in it. Hold on, I'm trying to hide my hand. Oh. Anyway. So, what did we need to get the van? Or for the van? Uh, well, we need to have the seals checked and see if that's it. Because if it's not that, then it's the oil pump. How much is an oil pump? It is the van. Uh, Cameron seems to think that it could be upwards of around 100, 150. 
Okay. But getting to it is the, where we're going to have the most problems. Uh, because our engine side mount and all this other crap. It's not one thing, it's another. So we're walking, and we're walking, and then Anthony goes, hey, you want the needle? And all joking, you guys. Um, but yeah, I turned around and I was like, what needle? I'm thinking sewing needle. Nope, not thinking, you know, hypodermic needle. Welcome to our town. That's not the first one we've seen. <laughs> You're a weirdo. We're eating gravy like my wife did. <laughs> Literally seconds before. Can't prove it. Wasn't on camera. Isn't that what you said to me yesterday? <laughs> yep. I mean every bit of it. <laughs> the deal last. I like that they make their own gravy. A lot of people just opt out and do they make that powdered stuff. Powdered, or you can get it in a in a can. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, boosting local businesses, furs is awesome. Today has been rough. Um. It was just oh, it's just one of those days where nothing can go right and I swear for the last month I've had a days of Mondays um, we need to just sell the van no one ever uses it it needs too much work right now that we're not in a place where that's feasible and um, we need to figure out what's wrong with the car um, because that thing is just stopping all of a sudden while he's driving is a little weird. So, <clears throat> it's just one thing after another and <sighs> I would lie if I said it didn't get the best of me today and I didn't end up in tears a couple of times. Um, and I think the comment to yesterday's video is it us getting through life or life getting through us and it really some days feels like you're walking through sludge and nothing can go right and I have learned over the last few years in taking that sabbatical on being negative that sometimes stuff just happens and you've just got to learn to deal with it and roll with it it's not always fun don't get me wrong and it's not always easy but today I definitely felt a feeling I didn't want to feel anymore like life is getting the better of me and it's not I'm not gonna let it we are at a bad spot because we don't just have you know five thousand dollars to go put down on a vehicle or actually we found a vehicle um for five thousand dollars we just we don't have it and though right now it doesn't help um but i am going to help myself and my family and i'm gonna find a way to get this done and my mother-in-law said you'll get this figured out and at the time I was in a pity party kind of bullshit to where I'm like no this one I can't figure out and yeah I do feel like that um, but I'll get figured out we'll get through this um, it's just I get stressed and I don't deal with it well and that is definitely something I need to learn to deal with better because if not I'm gonna be dead and I'm not going to be dead because of the infection. I'm going to be dead because I gave myself a freaking heart attack. So, when life gives you lemons, or in this case, Anthony bought me some, you make lemon bars. And that's actually, my whole house smells like lemon bars right now. I came home, stressed or not, I made actually some pretty good pork fried rice. And it was really good. Um, 
and now I'm making lemon art lemon bars because the other day I was craving them that and then like five minutes later peanut butter cookies and Anthony made both and um I don't know there's just you know after making homemade sometimes that box uh lemon bar because we have crusties and just doesn't cut it and yeah <laughs> it was it it wasn't I was like oh it's not what I want and so I had him buy me some fresh lemons um because I needed peas and carrots to go in the stir fry. And so I made dinner, put my gr big girl pants back on, and uh, just dealt with stuff. Um, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, we'll get through this. And hopefully, you know, not with me being a baby. Because, like, Anthony's like, something needs to give, maybe, you know... Uh, we're not doing something cosmically right or something. I don't know. <laughs> he talks and I don't always listen. Because I was hurting in my feelings. And I was like, fine! It's us! We shouldn't be married! Like a weenie. So, I'm going to lay across the bed. I got like 30, 25, I don't know, big difference, isn't it? <laughs> Minutes until the lemon bars are done. And then I'm going to go pull them out. I'm going to glaze them with some lemon juice because I love my lemon bars tangy. Waiting for mom to call. I need to call Joni because uh, she had a doctor's appointment today. Um, and see how her appointment went. And she was kind of talking to me about the car situation. She was trying to figure it out because she thinks it might be a starter. Um, and I'm wondering... Um, because it's, it's a little weird that... What did he say? He went to shift to second. And went to go hit the gas and boop. But my thing is... It's scary when you're in the middle of an intersection. And thank God, you know, you don't have um, people who... Um, and there's always... There are people who don't pay attention. But luckily, everyone around him... Though irritated... Um, we're paying attention. I just, I don't want to see him get hurt because my car went wacko. Um, so yeah. Oh, I have to get a DD-214 because we're going to put military plates on the car. Which is nice because then the tags I don't have to pay for like normal. Um, and so that'll be nice. That'll save us some money. Um, up front... It's a little more expensive, but then thereafter, it's much cheaper. Um, I just, I want to get this car fixed and then save up for another vehicle. Um, I'd like, I don't know why, I always wanted a minivan, and that's not what I meant, like, I don't know why. He wants the minivan. I just would rather have a car. We don't tote children around like we used to, um, but that doesn't mean we won't. And some of these minivans are just gross on gas mileage. Um, but I, I was looking into Enterprise. I haven't looked anywhere else and seeing if we picked up a vehicle today and then till the third or something. That way he can get back and forth get his stuff done, doctor's appointments, all of, you know, all of that, how much it would be, and then it was like, just under $500, but my thing is, you guys, is, I'd rather put that, drop that 500 on my own vehicle, and, um, something that's mine, and I'm putting money into my vehicle, and, though, yeah, I guess you can do dumb stuff, like, um, Jeff Fox, they said about renting a vehicle and, you know, doing donuts and stuff on it, or on it, in it, um, and then returning it because it's not yours. I don't want to, I don't want to do that way. And I don't want to, I did today say that I feel like bad people who con others and use other people are winning and then you have good people who don't do that and we're getting nowhere 
And I'm not saying we're perfect because God, you guys, we are far from it. But we're not scamming people and we're not stealing and we're not hurting anyone. And we provide as much as we can. Our kids don't need for anything. They want for stuff, but I think that that's good. Um, and some things they don't necessarily want for. My kids have cell phones. Well, two of them. They, they have everything that they need. We provide for them. It isn't always everything they want because not everyone, every child, or me as an adult. There are things that I want I don't necessarily buy. So, I don't know. It's just hard to get over feeling like you're getting nowhere and you're trying to provide for your family. My husband's trying to further his work and his education to do better by us. And I feel like we just have the end of that rope and I am desperately trying to hold on to it. And I know some days are going to be better than others and it's just don't let it get to you. Right, you guys? So, we'll talk to you tomorrow. I have a cramp in my hand. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Or I don't know. <laughs> anyway, bye.